aren't you tired? Follow up with all the issues, clashes and coordination in the old traditional way with emails. Instead, you can use issues and track all your issues with particular communication and you can find all the design decisions right in one spot. And here is how you can do it and how you can run your clash automatically. In Autodesk Construction Cloud and BIM 360, you have a model coordination where you can have automatic clashes. Here I define my clashes based on the level and I want to select all the level one clashes in this project and I can easily visualize everything right with a single glance. Now I want to take to the next level and I want to say these are actual issues needs to be solved between the architect and structural. And then if I just create an issue, it will take a few seconds and it will generate this issue and it will ask me to click a push pin button. So I will just select this location here. I'll just click it. I can select component as well, just a push pin. And then from there, I have level one and 43 other objects are available here and whom to assign it. I can assign to a person, but the great thing about it that I can assign entire company. Once you assign a company, it's not going to send to everyone in the company. It's only sending to the people who are involved in this project and have access to this project. That's great because then they will be receiving the right notification. They will not be overloaded and bombarded with all the notifications in the every single project. And you can also assign a due date when you want this to be solved or followed up with. You can say the location, you can divide this project into zones if you want, and you can say who, who has created this one and give more details about what needs to be solved. Maybe you need some kind of like code compliance that you want to issue. Obviously here you can also mention that code compliance right from here, building code, or you can add more uh, types if you need to. So compliance. And then once you have the compliance from this portion onwards, you can just select create the issue. The issue part will be in the issue area. And once you come to the issue area, you can see there's a push pin here as well. You can just click on the issue. It will go to the right location. It will show you where the, all the red and green, where the issues are located. And you can see all the details and there is a little bit of description. You can have a code compliance here that's written. And if something is not clear or you want to clarify things further or you want to communicate rather than sending email and phone calls, which are not auditable, you can just go to activity and you can have the person and say, hey, what about this? What about that? So you can just tag the person. You can send the entire company or particular person or particular group of like what they could say, all architects, all the structure engineers. So you can also mention that way. And you can say, what about new staircase on the Northwest? And this way you can keep all your communication rather than scrolling up and up in your emails or in a chat that you lost already that communication, the starting point of it or the decisions that you made throughout the project. So this makes communication and coordination much easier for everyone for efficiency. If you want to get most out of your collaboration by using AI automations, by using best practices, keeping your models healthy and safe and coordinating efficiently with all the consultants. And there are many other benefits you can get. And we are trying to optimize productivity from what you have right now, 20% or more for every single architect. So you can deliver projects faster and can have a huge return on investment. Get in touch with us and we'll be happy to have an interactive call to see how we can help you and utilize to make sure that BIM works for you. And it's super easy.